Hello, Jackalope fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. In the last episode, we left off talking about uh, setting up this secure channel. How do we get the secure channel? And I said before we can understand that, we have to understand certain types of encryption. So the first type of encryption we're going to talk about is symmetric encryption. With symmetric encryption, the idea is that the key that encrypts the message is the same key that decrypts the message. So there's only one key. Now this key can be self-created or it can be issued from a, a key server. And the way that symmetric encryption works, a large amount of data can be encrypted very, very quickly. That's why we like it and decrypt it very, very quickly. However, this does not scale. If you and me want to share a secret message and I come up with a key to encrypt the message, I share the key with you and you decrypt the message. Not a big deal, as long as we can both keep the key secret. Remember, the key, haha, <laughs> see what I did there? The key to the secrecy is in the protection of the key, the security of the key. It doesn't matter how strong the key is, how complex the key is. If the key is not secured properly, then it just doesn't matter because the adversary can now get our key. So when you look at an enterprise with 10,000 people using symmetric encryption, well, if 10,000 people have the same key, what are the odds that they're going to be able to keep that key secure for very long? Another thing that we don't have with symmetric encryption is non-repudiation. In other words, if I have the key and Bob has the key, we don't know that because it, the key that opens is the key that closes or the key that encrypts is the key that decrypts, we don't know that Evil Eve hasn't picked up the key somewhere. So even though Bob gets the message, and his symmetric key decrypts the message, we can't tell that that's the message that Alice sent. That's non-repudiation. We're going to talk about that more later. So we have to protect that symmetric key somehow. And the way that we do that is through the secure channel. So we can have a pre-shared key, something that Bob and I somehow shared previously, I FedExed it to him, something like that. Or we can use asymmetric encryption. Oh, that's the next episode. Or we can use the Diffie-Hellman key exchange. What? Oh yes, Diffie and Hellman, two pals that make encryption the way it is today. You use Diffie-Hellman every single day. So remember, symmetric encryption, key that encrypts is the key that decrypts. Same key on both ends. Next episode, we'll go one step further and start talking about asymmetric encryption. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.